Yo, what's up? Put some cool wheels on my Dodge. So, um, but before I start this video, I gotta make a, a safety announcement. Um, this truck is gonna be off-road only. Uh, mounting wheels this way is incredibly dangerous and it's not gonna ever see the highway or put the public in danger. It's gonna be off-road only, this truck, because I flipped these wheels inside out mounted them on there backwards and uh, basically they're, they're not designed for that and they're not hub centric either just the way the lug nut tightens down and the mating surface and all that it's really not designed for that the lug nuts will not stay tight and on the back it's even worse with the spacers so if double wrong spacers are dangerous to begin with and then the wheels mounted backwards on the spacer so Two wrongs do not make a right in this case. It's just double wrong. Really dangerous. <laughs> but anyways, it's really never going to leave my yard. I just use it uh, around the yard for working on stuff. And it looks cool. Might take it off-roading some days. But that's about it. So yeah. Um, just watch the rest of my video. I explain a bit more on the truck. And uh, I talk about driving it on the road and stuff, but I've done more research since then, and this truck's not going to be on the road with these wheels and tires. Dodge Ram here, 250, 4x4, four four. got a 360 V8 automatic, um, had this truck for a while, been fixing it up, uh, because of this uh, COVID-19 and, and oil prices, this could become my main daily driver, because I can't afford to keep insurance on the new truck over there. So uh, I already had these tires, I just went and got some wheels. And I didn't plan this, but look this cool, it just sort of happened. So these wheels are off a 2014 Ram 2500. And they had such a crazy offset that they don't fit proper way I had to flip them inside out. It actually looks really cool. That wheel's inside out. And it bolted right on the front. It cleared the disc brakes and everything. But it didn't bolt right on the rear. It hit the drums. So I had to put some two-inch spacers on there. And uh yeah I don't really trust the spacers. I mean, it looks cool, and especially these ones, they're not hub-centric, so it's putting all the weight on the studs and the lug nuts. It's not the right way to do it. But this truck's really only going to see uh, run into the dump, back roads, money. I'm 
not going to take down the highway in the city. That's not happening. I'll just take my Thunderbird. So I'm really not too worried. I'm not going to be doing highway speeds. So no rims flipped inside out. No spacers on the front. Two inch spacers on the rear. But they're still pretty close. Fairly even. You can barely even tell that the front is narrower than the rear. hell of a stance now. She's wide. I love it. Old cranes holding together. Uh, these, this engine hoist, it's not, it's not designed to work like this. It's not the safest thing either. They're designed to be on a flat concrete floor they're not designed to fight any kind of side loading, twisting. So if the truck goes in a rut and the, you have a big engine on there and the weight goes off to the side, it's not designed to fight that those kind of forces. And I already broke this weld up here. Because that's really the only thing that, that's fighting that twisting force and it's not meant for it. So I had to clean that up and re-weld it. And, uh, See, it's, it's already kind of loose. But you know, it's all I have. It's the only way I can move engines around the yard. I'm using it to uh, build the Cummins Ford over there. Put a 12 valve Cummins in it. So, you know, work with what you got. Make it work. I mean, if it drops the engine, I'm going to be in the truck. Nobody's going to be anywhere around it. It's going to be fine property damage, but it's my property, so who cares? Um, these tires. The Forcer. The Forcer CF3000. They're not very good tires. They came off of my Ford. I put some good year wranglers on it now and I, I took them off because they just couldn't get them balanced I tried three different times to get these tires balanced and they I just you know they wouldn't they were wearing on evenly they wouldn't balance they're shaking the truck apart now I need new tie rod ends and track links but on this old truck they'll be fine not going to see any highway speeds and uh, they're not hub centric wheels anyway so not going to balance very good that's why they call it a tire heater right
truck's not lifted, so I had to cut a bunch of the uh, fingers out on the front so I could steer. I had to cut a bunch of metal out besides this front. That is the front, I think. So I had to cut about that much out. just so I could turn and it's still pretty close but I am thinking of putting a small lift on this truck too and it wasn't, it wasn't uh it wasn't like I was wrecking a real nice truck like I was pretty much just cutting the rust out of it I actually really love these old Dodges. It's uh, my first truck was a two-wheel drive one of these, the 318. It's pretty close. Or at least I can turn now. Cool, so that's an update on my 89 Dodge, fixing it up. <laughs> I love this truck. It's pretty cool. Well, once again, thanks for watching.